So in this video, I'm working on a really exciting part of the design. I'm going to be building an eight into one header exhaust system that exits through the rear spare tire. So I looked at a bunch of reference designs for eight into one headers. They're becoming more and more popular these days. So this part ended up looking really cool. So I'm just gonna make a simple circular pattern with the header design as straight and simple as possible and not worry about equal length or firing order. So I've got a 2.5 inch diameter header size and then I have three inch radius bends everywhere. These headers look done and they look really cool in the assembly. I'm gonna have to tuck the fuel tank underneath and around those headers, but that's okay. So it's a, it's a really efficient way to capture everything with standard tubing. And so the advantage there is that all of your moving parts are metal on metal and there's no aluminum touching any of the himes. These are pretty simple light weighting cuts compared to what I did on the trailing arm, but there's not a lot of force on the sway bar. The only force that you're really fighting is the rolling moment of the vehicle, which is less than the full weight of the vehicle vertically. So what sway bars do is when one side of your, when you're turning and one side of your vehicle is rotating outwards with respect to the turn, the outermost wheel gets pushed up by the suspension and when that happens, the sway bar pulls the inboard wheel up as well. And so you have a counteracting roll force that keeps the vehicle flat with respect to the ground. You don't want the bolt to be taking a shear load because bolts are only strong in the direction of their axis. So one other issue with adding that boss to the design is it increases the envelope of the billet stock size significantly. It's three inches taller than it needs to be, which is a huge increase in stock size that you're just gonna chop out when you machine it. But what I realized was there's just not enough meat on this part to capture that spherical bearing the way that I have it set up right now. Finalizing these pocket cuts on the trailing arm to make sure that it not only looks cool, but has all the right thickness where it needs it and is as light as possible. 